Chapter 50 Through the Valley of the Shadow of Death Just then they thought that the ground they trod on shook, but the guide bade them be of good cheer and look well to their feet, lest by chance they should meet with some snare. Then James felt sick, but I think the cause of it was fear, and Christiana gave him some of the wine which Mr. Interpreter had put in her hands, and three of the pills which Mr. Skill had made up, and the boy soon got well. They then went on a while, and Christiana said, "'What is that thing on the road, a thing of such a shape I have not seen in all my life?' Joseph said, "'What is it?' "'A vile thing, child, a vile thing,' said she. "'Joseph,' But what is it like? Christiana, it is like, I can't tell what. Just then it was far off. Now it is nigh. Greatheart, well, let them that have the most fear keep close to me. Then it went out of sight of all of them. But they had not gone far when Mercy cast a look back and saw a great beast come fast up to them with a loud roar. This noise made them all quail with fright, save their guide, who fell back and put the rest in front of him. But when the brute saw that Greatheart meant to fight him, he drew back and was seen no more. Now they had not left the spot long when a great mist fell on them so that they could not see. What shall we do? said they. Their guide told them not to fear, but to stand still and see what an end he would put to this too. Then said Christiana to Mercy, Now I see what my poor dear Christian went through. I have heard much of this place. Poor man, he went here in the dead of the night, and no one with him. But who can tell what the valley of the shadow of death should mean, till they come to see it? To be here fills my breast with awe. Greatheart, it seems now as if the earth and its bars were round us. I would not boast, but I trust we shall still make our way. Come, let us pray for light to him that can give it. So did they weep and pray, and as the path was now more smooth, they went straight on. Mercy, to be here is not so sweet as it was at the gate, or at Mr. Interpreter's, or at the good house where we were last. Oh, said one of the boys, it is not so bad to go through this place as it is to dwell here for all time, for aught I know we have to go this way that our last home may seem to us the more blessed. Great heart, well said Samuel, thou dost now speak like a man. Samuel, why, if I do in truth get out of this place, I think I shall prize that which is light and good more than I have done all my life. Great heart, We shall be out by and by. So on they went. Joseph, can we not see to the end of this vale yet? Greatheart, look to your feet, for you will soon be where the snares are. So they took good heed. Greatheart, men come here and bring no guide with them. Hence it is they die from the snares they meet with in the way. Poor Christian, it is strange he should have got out of this place and been safe. But God dwelt in his soul, and he had a stout heart of his own, or else he could not have done it.